Bobby Davis now joins us here in Kelowna because Bobby Davis, as you can see, orange and black, he has been invited to the BC Lions uh, main camp. But before we talk main camp, let's talk about the contract that you signed with the Lions way back in November. It was a dream come true that you, you finally signed a contract with a pro team? Yeah, it was kind of surreal uh, when I signed the contract after the season ended. Um, that was just after the Western Final and uh, me, Stephen Schott and Stephen Doge went in and we ended up signing contracts on the 20th of November. And it didn't really set in until uh, it got released and everybody's congratulating me and, uh, um, you know, all the support from my family and stuff. Yeah, you were under gag order, kind of, so to speak, right? Yeah, I couldn't say anything until it was released by their media. So everybody's asking me when I got back how it went and what happened. And I just kind of had to keep my mouth shut until they said anything. So it was like pretty you're hard. a survivor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> couldn't tell my parents, didn't tell any of my family or anything. Now, recently you went to evaluation camp. Uh, second year you've done that? Yeah, uh, third year. Third year. Um, yeah, I went down two weeks ago. Uh, it's a Sunday night, Monday morning, and they run you through some tests, same as the NFL, CFL combine, and uh, do a little one-on-one -on -one in a uh, pass period just to see what you can do out on the field. We were comfortable being in your third year to going through the routine. Yeah, it was uh, a lot less nerves this yeah. year just because I knew what to expect, and. I don't know, maybe it's because I already had a contract signed, which really, you know, that just puts me into camp. Yeah. Um, I still got to work hard and uh, perform once I get out there. And is rookie camp, that's the next step in your pursuit to become a roster member of the, of the BC Lions. So rookie camp, May 29th in Kamloops. What are you going to expect? What can you expect from this camp? Uh, I've heard it's pretty intense. Uh, long days for almost a month. Um, I think it starts on, well, it starts on the 29th of May and it ends around the 21st to 22nd of June. So uh, you're... you're mentally and physically exhausted for uh, quite a bit there so it's a grind you have teammates and you have friends going jordan yes from the vi raiders Stephen doge Stephen shot all going to be there is it easier on you because you have some familiar faces at a camp that you've never been to before i think it'll be good uh yance and doge's bo both have been there before so they know what to expect um so you know maybe talk to them before um the camp actually starts to kind of get maybe some tips or something as yeah. to how to make it through but um <laughs> you just got to go out work hard and just take it day by day um It'll be nice having them around, Stephen Schott and Dogie, just because you know there's some some familiar faces and you're not just a stranger to the whole group. Mm -hmm. What about like Andrew Harris? Uh, he played with the VR Raiders, obviously against you. Um, do you get tips from him? Do you talk to him at all on on the lead up to camp? Uh, not up to lead on the lead up to camp, but uh, when I was with them in the fall, uh, he's a really good guy, and uh, he's uh, if you got anything to ask him, he's kind of done the same thing mm -hmm. as uh, well. He came from junior to the pros, so he kind of knows what. To, uh, well, you, you can ask him what he went through and uh, yeah. the, the tips. What are the coaching staff telling you? Are they telling you anything before camp? Where are you going to fit? Are you going to fit? Um, as of now, I, I'm expecting to be going out on most uh, special teams okay. and uh, at receiver as well. So I, when I practiced in the fall there, I was on all the, spe all the scout specials and uh, got some reps at receiver every now and then. Is that pretty typical? Guy coming in, new guy, new guy just had a junior, start special teams and then work your way up? Uh, definitely. That's basically how you get on, you know, you get get on a special teams, then you get actually start dressing for games, and then um, even if you're less experienced, you know, somebody gets hurt and they need somebody out on the field, that's where you get your shot, right? So definitely a uh, main goal for me would be to get on the special teams. When will you feel comfortable? At camp, first hit, first catch? Um, I don't think I'll be comfortable until I'm out on the field in front <laughs> yeah. of all the fans. Um, hopefully that's that's my main goal i don't think it really honestly hasn't said in that much for me yet um i'm really excited about the whole thing uh, it's a dream come true but i don't really think it'll hit me until there's a day where i'm out on the field uh you know in the end zone or or catching the ball in front of you know 40,000 50,000 fans what number are they gonna give you uh right now i have number 80. I'm jerry right yeah so <laughs> it's a pretty good number i like it <laughs> thanks for doing this good luck thank you bobby davis he's gonna be at bc lions rookie camp may 29th at uh, main camp as well then hopefully we'll see him when the season opens with the bc lions